I know this episode's gonna get deep into some family because it's called Special Little Brother, aka Langris, Special versus the Failed Big Brother, aka Fenroll. When I think it's the exact opposite, so this should be interesting. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 80. Like I said, this one's the brother v brother. That's literally where we left off of round two of the Royal Knights Magic Selection Test, and this is what we're doing. I am all here for it. I, you guys know my opinion. Langris, super OP, very strong magic. He's a dickhead though. Fuck him. Finral all the way, baby. New haircut, looking swag goo. So with that being said, I gotta I gotta hop in this episode. I'm ready to see my man just pop off. That's all I can say. Remember though, if you guys want early access and full length of this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok at Dapper Darius. Everything is always in the description down below for you guys. Let's hop into this. I'm so ready. Episode 80, Black Clover, Special Little Brother versus The Failed Big Brother. Uh-huh. Give him a nice little combing beforehand, Vanessa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bro, this is like the perfect example of how crazy the Black Bulls are. <laughs> Look at this. I know. I would be so embarrassed. Yeah. Oh, yes, she has. Oh, that's just going to make me tear up, I swear to God. He actually has been there so many times. He's actually so nasty. And if anyone knows about difficult family relationships, it's going to be Vanessa. How cool you are, just like your hair, Finral. I love these black bulls, I swear to God. They're always so amazing. Let's go. We were just talking about how embarrassing the Black Bulls are. Psych, no other squad is ever going to hype the members of the squad up like the Black Bulls do. <laughs> They're right back to their normal shit. While you're on the shitter. Okay. <laughs> Round two of stage two, begin. Okay. Oh, he can use the... That's a support spell, which reminds me of like Ghosh and his mirrors, but that's so dope. And it all, it all reflects back to this thing, like it's a multi-monitor kind of, that's, that's actually dope. I'll give that, that's, that's dope. It's actually a miracle how nice and supportive Finral is with these horrible parents, you know? This is, I mean, no wonder Langris turned out the way he is, Jesus. Venus, huh? Wow. Royal marriages definitely are. Definitely a thing. Ah, <laughs> Obviously, being older, she would expect it to be him. Look at him gassing up his little brother, man. He's such a good guy. And she's gonna be amazing, watch. Music to my ears. Music to my ears. <laughs> so he's been holding on. Okay. This is this is 
a very interesting but actually very realistic scenario i'm very very thankful that my parents because i have multiple siblings were they were they knew about favorite you know they were very equal and stuff like that but god damn favoritism in terms of siblings can cause so much strife between the family and the fact that not only was there this much like this is probably the most extreme case i've ever seen Finral took it like the utmost champ that he is. He's literally a legend. And I didn't write down her name because I thought she would only appear in that flashback for half a second. I should have because she's amazing for what she just said. But, you know, it's so much more to being a mage and to being a knight, to being a good person than just having strong magic. And so because of that, even though literally Langris has won in every aspect of his life compared to his brother, he still thinks back and holds has a grudge on that literal five second moment that Finral got over him. Oh my God, it infuriates me. But like, it's very realistically done. It's Jesus Christ. Shouts out Black Clover. Makes me want to go text my siblings. See, that's what I was worried about when he was threatening him earlier. His magic will kill you in a heartbeat. I've never thought of that. What happens if... The only one who would be able to defeat Langris because of his OP magic is Finral. That works out beautifully. I did not know. I was. I didn't even think about that. Spatial magic. What would happen if spatial magic on spatial magic? It cancels out. All right, go. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Get going right away. Leopold and Hammond about to destroy this crystal. Oh, you guys fell for my trap card. Forces your senses to sleep. Start losing hearing, sight, smell. <laughs> I like that callback. Hey, what's gonna melt snow? Fire. Your attribute weakness. I swore upon the symbol on my forehead. Leopold's always been one of my favorites as soon as I met him. All of Leopold's family, Flagolian, Mariliona. That, especially the mana skin compared to that fucking volcano. This mana skin is way stronger now. See, Finral has to be so... <laughs> yes, you're so right, Julie. Finral has to be so on top of it. A single misstep and, and the crystal or Finral is dead. Okay, relax. So... Heat seeking? What is it? What is it? What does it do though when it hits you? You just got sent to the fucking other dimension. Fallen Angel's Wing Beach? And once it made. Okay. Yeah, just an offense version of it, because it seeks you out. He's a very kind person, even to his soul. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, I'm curious where you sent him. Make it like 12 million miles away. Oh, to Yami's bathroom, huh? Use your dark dimension slash. Kill Seke. He is Dark Lord. This is going to be the ultimate fight right here. Dark Lord Seke versus Yami. Special reserve spell? He has a reserve spell he hasn't used either? Okay, why is he summoning down Odin? What the fuck? Oh, 
What does it mean as he figured what as they felt this before? What mana is this? What? Whoa, how? This is the ultimate rivalry right here. Oh my god, I was not expecting this at all. What the fuck? The ultimate spatial magic battle. Oh my lord. Get Owens over here now! Bro. Bro, what the f is this episode? Ooh, someone come in there and stop this. I'm already worried that Finral's already way too injured. Oh, oh, oh my god. Not even a second hesitation. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! No hesitation! Oh my goodness, bro! Oh! What the fuck? So, that episode blew my butt cheeks back. I don't know what else to say. I just rewatched that part again where they all jumped in there, no hesitation. And so, oh my god, I get goosebumps every time. I could watch that literally time and time again, but. I am so curious what's going on, why his magic feels that like the eye of the midnight sun magic. So curious, so, so curious. Because the whole time, not the whole time, but I was, I, I low-key was thinking when that little glitch effect would happen, and a little, like, I thought that was Finral who was like, oh, he's getting stronger, but it makes sense that it's Langris like snapping, you know, it's just getting more and more deranged until he really couldn't take it and had to end his brother's life. Which, oh my god, Finral t Shout one, new spell, actually incredible. Shouts out Finral. Uh, it's the most offensive version of his spell that he could do. He must have such a kind soul, as Julius said, he does. But, oh, Langris is something else. Now, I will say, I completely forgot that they had separate mothers. Now, that's, that's, she, what she still said was so fucked up, but when she was like, you're not my son, he's my son, that's... It, it takes off like two points, two fucked up points of that, but still insanely fucked up. Oh my god, I just don't even know what to think. I'm literally like, just I'm mind blown right now. I'm literally just like, blown away. Oh, I don't even know what to say. This episode, these episodes were incredible. I need to see this next episode. That animation at the end there. Oh my fucking god. I love the Black Bulls. I love how they made that a point this episode to say how embarrassing yet just unbelievably attached to each other they are they this is a squad right here this is the true definition of a squad only motivating each other only getting stronger only getting better only having faith in each other it's just oh my god when it's luck magna asta no hesitation forget the match i'll kill you right now like oh my god when it comes to protecting their dude finral they don't fuck around and i respect that oh so much you even had Charmy, Gordon, Gauche, 
fucking Noel and everyone is saying, nah, fam, nah, fam, we ain't do this, fam, nah, you ain't gonna do this to our boy. It's, oh, my God, these, these guys, I tell you. I want to watch the next episodes right now. I might have to, you know. I'm not, oh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, man, okay. We do have a couple of Q&As that I got to answer real quick before I get before I get out of here and get in this next episode. So I'm about to do that. I've been super behind on them. So if I haven't answered your questions, guys, I apologize. I'm going to be getting right back into it. If you guys ever want to ask me anything, there's a Q&A section in the Discord. His first question comes from Brody Soros. He says, if you could make a seven man Magic Knight squad using any of the knights you've seen so far, who would they be? And you only get one captain though. That is a good question. That is a good question. Okay, now this is obviously super biased because in terms of screen time and how much we've gotten to know the characters, the Black Bulls outshine everyone else by miles. The I'm not gonna lie to you, the only other candidates that I would even consider putting like up there with the black bulls are like you know just for his pure strength um leopold for his amazingness fuegolian if he was still good but he'd be the captain though mary leona she would also be the captain though so i think oh, it's it's such a cop-out answer and i feel bad i have to say this but after literally this episode there's no way i'm not choosing seven black bulls members it's got to be yami finral asta magna luck because they're the combo um vanessa because she's op and then Charmy, because she's also amazing. There's my seven man squad right there. You're not beating my seven man squad, I'm telling you, especially after what I just seen, you're not convincing me. Thank you for that question, Rotosaurus, and I know it's a cop out, but that is that has to be my answer. Come on, come on. The next question comes from Dean Machine, who says, do you think that you will watch the filler arc in the mid 100s or will you skip that? I did a, what's well, actually weird that you asked that. I did not look at this question before I did my little research today. But earlier before I was watching these episodes, I looked up what some of the, cause I wanted to, cause every like 30, 40 episodes or so, there's like a recap episode, which is very typical in anime, you know, recaps everything that happened. Um, and I was thinking about watching the next one. So I was looking up when's the next recap episode. Cause I kind of wanted to go back and miss, you know, go over some of the stuff that I'd forgotten about way back in the day. Um, and in so it said that episode like 82 was like a petite filler, petite clover filler. So that's probably the, cause it's like all a petite clover. That's probably the only filler I'm going to skip. Other than that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to watch every single filler. As long as it's not like, as long as it's not certain fillers, like from Nard, uh, you know, but other than that, I'm, I love these characters. I could literally watch an episode of Noel and Asta arguing, going to the store, buying stuff for dinner, watching the Black Bulls cook. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just so I, yes, I think I am. That's a great question. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Brody Soros. Seven Man Squad, and yes, I am watching the fillers. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I love this episode. Oh my God, I love this episode. Have a great day, Ever Squad. Peace out.